contact asked, what are shadow men? Well, I kind of was asked the same type question. Um, what I've come to know of shadow figures or shadow men or, you know, shadowy figures, whatever the fuck you want to call them, is all they do is they just watch. Like, they, if you notice, like, every story, you don't hear, oh, yeah, a shadow figure attacked me. You know, it's always a shadow figure is up there watching me. Or, oh, there's a shadow figure down at the hall. Or, oh, I just saw a shadow figure walking across there looking at us. It's always a spirit that is watching. But what would cause a spirit to become a shadow a shadow figure? That is a very good question that I don't think anyone's ever attempt to, you know, answer. Like, why is there, you know, different kinds of spirits? I've never heard of anyone trying to, you know, explain... The reasoning behind that um, but I think they're just a, a type of spirit that watches you to see what the fuck you're doing maybe you know make sure you're not vandalizing their home um, or it could you know just be an evil spirit watching you to see you know what it can do to fuck with you uh, I couldn't tell you man I hope I answered your question keep sending them always down to try and answer them for you Lisa Latte wants to know, have I ever had anything paranormal happen to me at my house? Yeah, something actually followed me back from the war bunker. And it, I started having really odd nightmares. I would hear footsteps. Things would start getting knocked over. The TV would turn on and off by itself. Um, but I think... I'm pretty sure that was all. Footsteps, sounds, nightmares. Yeah, I, th I, th I think... I think that was all. Um, but also when I was younger, I lived in a house where I seen a shadow figure and the doors would open and close by themselves. And that's kind of what started me into the paranormal. So I hope that answered uh, your question. Ed from YouTube wants to know what kind of research methodology, <clears throat> I don't even think I said that right, do I use? Well, I start my videos off completely different than every other paranormal investigator. Um, most go, oh yeah, I've seen this on TV, so I'm going to go there and film. Um, I don't have that option, and I'm always really poor, so how I start off every episode is an uh, Ubex, Orbex type of video where I go to old German abandoned buildings, usually that have some sort of history, and I go walk through with multiple cameras and film what goes on, and I rewatch the footage, and if anything... Irregular happens, sounds, voices, anything like that, audio, video, uh, pictures. If anything comes up in those, then I actually go back with more equipment and, you know, refilm the another day, another, you know, usually another day trip and multiple night trips. Hence why I'm going like f six times to the war bunker and six times to the fucking lunar, lunar logger camp and there's a bunch of other locations I have to do again but um, just go in there with a bunch of equipment and see what I can fucking catch if I do catch anything so not really that professional but if I if I catch something I usually have the equipment to verify that I've caught something so I hope that uh, answered your question there Tad I didn't really get it but I hope that answered your question Send more. I'm, I'm down to try and answer them for you. This was a, kind of a, a two-part question from Lisa Latte. Uh, the other one was, why did my K2 meter go off when I was playing the Charlie Charlie Challenge? And the reason it, it did flash a little bit is because I had just set it down and the lights started to go off from, from the motion of it. But it completely stopped once it was set down and there was no more movement.